Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the Complete American Cookbook of 1957, we're going to be making the ham and egg sandwich. And while that sounds straightforward, yeah. First thing we have to do is grind up some ham. Now we have to rub two hard-boiled eggs through a sieve. Okay, 20 minutes later, to our sieved egg, we add our ground ham. Mayonnaise. It calls for Bahamian mustard, and I looked that up online, and it's kind of a sweet and spicy mustard, and since I've got Wilbur's sweet and spicy mustard, that's what I'm going to use. It doesn't say how much, so... That looks good. And last but not least, black pepper. And then we put that mixture onto buttered bread. Okay, let's give this ham and egg sandwich a go. It tastes good. The sweet and spicy mustard is great. Going well with the ham and the eggs and the mayonnaise. I'm not sure why we have to butter the bread, but... I do think we can plus this up just a little, though. I'm going to keep it pretty basic. I'm going to add a pickle, a little bit of lettuce, tomato, salt, pepper. Okay, let's give this plussed up ham and egg sandwich a go. That's better. That's tasty. Nice brightness of the pickle, playing well with the ham and the egg, and the mustard. And the lettuce and the tomato just bring a nice little freshness. So the original ham and egg sandwich uh, was tasty. It was pretty good with the sweet and spicy mustard. Um, but I'm not sure why you would go through all that trouble other than to get something that's a spreadable consistency. I, and even then, pushing eggs through a sieve, there's got to be an easier way. <laughs> anyway, the original ham and egg sandwich, I'm going to give it a six to six and a half. Yeah, six and a half. Um, plussed up with a little bit of pickle, lettuce, and tomato. I'll give it a seven, seven and a half, somewhere in there. Definitely going to finish it. <laughs> and I got a little leftover, so <laughs> it's a good thing I like it. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Oh.